Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. <laughs> Look at our friend coming to visit us and say hello already from the very beginning of the video. I love it. This island is going to be very exciting because it's something totally unique. It's something I've never seen before. And that is because it is a farm to table island. That's right. The entire island was inspired by farm to table culinary skills, restaurants, etc. I'm excited to see it because the whole front half is going to be a farm core type of island. And then the back half is, of course, a town. And I'm so, so, so excited to see this entire work of art by my friend Tari. If you guys are inspired by these island tours, if you enjoy playing Animal Crossing, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday. All right, let's take a look at the map of this island of Rotini. <laughs> so perfect. Here's the dream address on the screen. If you would like to pause the video, grab your switch, tour along with me, that's always super fun. Uh, but also everything is going to be linked in the description box, Tari's Instagram. She also has an amazing magical ruins island that I've also featured here on my channel in the past. Night and day different from what we're about to see. So if you guys wanna see that, I'll make sure it's also in the description box. And the dream address too, if you want to reference it later. Now for residents here, we have Hazel, we have Ellie, Punchy, Chief, Amelia, Henry, Marty, Bones, Panchetti, and Ketchup. Some very appropriately themed villagers for a farm to table island. And I have to say, I absolutely love the terraforming. I like that there's a neighborhood in the back and I am a huge fan of when the natural river mouths are kept, right? Like you can see that everything in terms of waterscaping is very much connected. So I'm excited to see how all of that pans out. And can we talk about how cute this flag is? And I know in this entrance, we already see a lot of apple trees. We see tomato plants. And of course the apples are, you know, probably meant to look more like tomatoes. So much fun. Look at that. And we even have ketchup right in front of us, ready to eat, and our friend, oh, Penay, <laughs> free tomato. I love it. Legalize marinara, as they say. This is an amazing build right out of the airport gate, simply because these trees are phenomenal. I also love that this island is set during the day when it's super windy, so we have all of this windmill action. Absolutely amazing. And I do wanna explore the front half first, but, I have to I have to commit some acts of thievery. You all know me. I absolutely have to rob. It's just I can't help it. It's how I get my adrenaline fixed. What can I say? Just a little <laughs> a little shoplifting action. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so let's open these up right here. And I, I absolutely love this theme for a multitude of reasons, right? You guys know that I love farm core type of islands just in general. Oh my gosh, this outfit, how cute. But I had a farm to table build on my very, very first island and it was for Bo's house. However, the fact that the whole island is a farm to table concept, I think is just absolutely precious. And then in these gifts, we have a couple of different things that we can wear. Ooh, I'm gonna wear the do-rag. Yes, it matches. How absolutely precious. And as you guys can see, resident services is back here. So if you decide to dream of this island, this is where you will be waking up. And I cannot tell you guys how amazing the medieval walls, the castle gates, all of those items were in the 2.0 update because you can really expand buildings like resident services just as Tari did and it looks so good. Well, hello, little puppy dog. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this bowl. Has this item always existed? I know we have the smaller pet food bowls, but I've never seen one that big. And here we are at our first farm, and it looks like we also have a barn here. I have to say, these bunnies are just adorable too. And look at this barn build. Wow, wow, wow. And you guys, for anything codes related, like I said, all of that good information is going to be in the description box. I'm a huge fan of barns. I am so glad that we have the storefronts now to make barns with because, oh my goodness, 
If you're an OG New Horizons player, we would make barns with the solar panels and simple panels. <laughs> that was pretty much all we had. Now I do wanna to say too, I love this farm in particular because A, I love the organization. B, I like that it differentiates between how many things are fully grown. Like some of these carrots have two, some just have one. Same with the potatoes and tomatoes, but it's also fully functional. If you guys love cooking in this game and you want a functional farm, this is perfect. I love it. This whole area is just giving me ugh, all of the agriculture vibes I could ever want. And what is on this beach? Hold on, I'm gonna go around here to this adorable tractor pulling the flower cart. Holy cow, that is so creative and cute. And this is a farmer's market? Oh my goodness, a beachfront farmer's market, not to mention. This is so sweet. You have a little basket of apples and eggs. And then of course you have a little area for some pizza, some wine it looks like as well. This is so well made. Oh my goodness, a beachfront farmer's market. Katie, take note. You're gonna wanna build this on your own island. I love this. Here you have your little pastry area. Wow. And not to mention that wheat field in the background just looking so stunning. This is a very, very beautiful farmer's market for a multitude of reasons, but I really love the layering of the stalls right here with, oh, what's the item called? I wanna say it's like bus stop or rest stop, the one that has uh, the corrugated iron on it. But the way that everything matches and is layered is so cool and so unique. I haven't seen that done before. Oh, not to mention, I don't know if you guys can see, let me get the camera out, but on those rest stops, we have signs like farmer's market, tomato, because you can customize them. And on the back, of course, you can pick a certain custom design. That is so well made. I love it. Farmer's market open daily. Oh, I wish I had a daily farmer's market near me. I have definitely weekly ones. I mean, Los Angeles has plenty, but there's not one in my direct vicinity in the city that is daily, but oh my goodness, I would die if there was. <laughs> okay, let's keep exploring. I guess we'll look at the front left side and then we will do the right front side. <laughs> And here we are at a tomato farm, it looks like. I wonder if uh, Miss Ketchup lives nearby. But again, I love how these farms are fully functional. I think that's so, so handy. Again, if you love to cook. And like I pointed out earlier, I like that not every single plant is fully ripe. <laughs> you know, you have some tomatoes that have grown, but you know, there's only like one right here. And then you have some that are really just popping off and I, I love that and I wonder can I hop over this way I can well if I can then I'm going to do it no geese no geese crossing <laughs> geese are not allowed over here oh, how pretty love the ducks on the puddles magic look at that brilliant well, hello, Bones. A nip in the bud. How cute. Oh my goodness, look at all of these gyroids and the quilting. Wow, you really get on this island a true community essence. You know, every villager, everyone is definitely chipping in, pulling their weight whenever it comes to contributing. And I love that. These beaches are just beautiful, too. I love, and the yachts and boats that are placed right outside of Captain's Dock is just chef's kiss. I think that's so nice, such a good detail. I also love when they're next to the secret beach. Hello, Bones. And such a great house build. Ah, oh, I love. And 
then back this way, we have a little tomato truck. Yep. So amazing. Whoa, look at how this robotics arm looks like it is canning the tomatoes. Are you kidding? That is so creative. <laughs> that is so smart because of course you have the canned jars of tomato sauce or ketchup, whatever you would like to call it right here. But then you have these labeled bottles that do not have the lids on it. And of course the robot arm looks like it's manufacturing and putting on that conveyor belt the completed ketchup or tomato sauce or both. Could be some marinara, maybe a vodka sauce. Does vodka sauce have tomatoes in it? It does, right? Oh my gosh, I should know this. And the beautiful dropped flyers too, it's just so cute. I love, oh, and up this incline, of course, is Ketchup's house. <laughs> My goodness, this view. Now this is how you truly give a villager the yard of their dreams, truly. And not to mention the Leaning Tower of Pisa, come on. How absolutely perfect is that? Now I do wanna come back this way before we go up that incline and really explore because this spot right here, if I can sit down, hello, there we go. <laughs> this spot right here is such a good example on filling small spaces. This is only like nine tiles total maybe, like give or take a few, but it is such an efficient and great way to break up this pathing, fill up a small space. Yeah, absolutely love that. And then of course more tomatoes. I really want to pluck them. <laughs> I really, really do. <laughs> but you know what? I already robbed enough today. I'm feeling good. Ooh, and the green vine bench. I'm not exactly sure what season we're, I mean, I know we're in summer, but I want to say we're in like July or June, but this green bench with this color of the grass is really cool because it blends in almost perfectly. And here is Ketchup's home. Oh, the green vines. Wow. This is so, so good. And the glowing moss wreath on her door also looks like tomatoes. I mean, you gotta love it. Okay, now let's go across that bridge because now I am intrigued to explore this away. This island really is giving me all of the inspo, truthfully. Oh, and now this, we must be going into the town area. So I do wanna come back this way because this walkway, are you kidding, is beautiful. But before we really go into the town, Tari did say, make sure to check out the front half first. Hey y'all, sorry for the weird edit here, but I just finished recording and touring and the island is so amazing. But the minute that I stopped recording, I realized I did not come back to this area like I said I would. So my apologies for the weird edit, but we are actually gonna go through this beautiful archway now, which by the way, what in a super unique and creative way to organize your fruit trees. This is a beautiful archway. And if you're not a huge fan of having like an orchard on your island or really fruit trees in general, this is still a very colorful and creative way to organize them. And I absolutely love it. And back here, <gasps> Bones Broth. Oh my gosh, how absolutely precious. This has to be Bones' house. And it looks like Bones runs a kitchen over here where he makes broth, how sweet. Oh my gosh, and an apron. Oh, Tari did say, by the way, that in this area, of course you have all of these ingredients like the pumpkin, you also have the carrot over here, you have a tomato. And in Dream Addresses, unfortunately you can't actually cook with the kitchens, I have tried. But if you visit this island, of course, in person, if Tari invites you over, anything like that, you can actually use those ingredients to cook. How cute. I mean, maybe, let me, let me test it one more time just to see. Yeah, unfortunately you can't use the actual stoves and dream addresses, which is so frustrating because how cute would that be if you could actually use those items? But I digress, what's this? 
a salad stuffed tomato. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And this apron is just so precious. And I did see this golden ladder. Oh, it takes us to the campsite. I see. I didn't even realize we hadn't seen the campsite yet. But here it is. Oh, I love it. I have to say, the new trees that were added into the game, and I don't mean the ones that you actually plant in the ground, but like the giant vines, you have like the pine tree, the decay tree, all of those items, they make such a difference in builds. Absolutely love, love, love this campsite and how colorful it is. It isn't too often we see a very, very colorful campsite but of course all of the red accents throughout this entire island <laughs> really do that hello beautiful butterfly so pretty and then back here is the town area which i did see in the remainder of this tour wait what does this say <laughs> got nip i love it but how pretty is this you have a little area for your scooters, your Vespas. Oh, I love it. And then this amazing double bridge moment, which you guys are gonna see in a minute. I don't wanna spoil the rest of the tour, but I did wanna see this area and how cute. I'm so glad that I did. Again, apologies for the weird edit, but let's continue with the tour. Down, you know, we gotta do our early morning farm work first. <laughs> so let's go back to the beautiful airport entrance and go right this time. Dun, dun, dun. Of course, huge fan of silos and huge fan of the windmills. Like how pretty is this view? Does it not just give you the most wholesome farm girl kind of vibes? Oh, I just love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, and this brings us to the main home as well. Wow. Look at this farm. And of course we do have what are they? I forgot even the name of the lamps. Oh my goodness. This is cool. The combination of the storefronts with, oh gosh, it's not the gazebo. I can't remember the item name as per usual. And the silos, all of it. It all looks so good and truly looks like a farmhouse, a great farmhouse. Oh my goodness, and a chicken coop up front. Stop. We have a chicken coop. Looks like we have some little ducks as well. And then a sweet little area for the bunnies. Looks like you guys are stealing carrots. How dare you? But you know what? You're cute. So we're going to let you get away with it and stop the carrot cake. <laughs> oh, it's so precious. Oh, I love this coop. Look at that, and even through the tiny little holes. Hello, Pinay. <laughs> even through the tiny little holes of those standees, you have the little duck. So sweet and so creative. Okay, let's go ahead and explore the home. We'll go on inside. How pretty. Oh my gosh, you really do get like farmhouse vibes in here too. Look at how that back wall is accented, of course, with a beautiful mountain view. And then behind this sofa, oh, it's a wall partition. I was about to say, I thought it were, it was like a combination of columns, but it's not. It's just a wall partition with this same wallpaper. But how nicely does that break up the entire room? I feel like farmhouse, you definitely need like some kind of white painted wood or even white painted brick. Oh, it's so, so pretty. And now I actually want to go into this right room first because Tari told me that this right room is decorated by her friend Owen Crossing and then the attic is by um, Isla Libra. So I think that's so cool. Oh my gosh, a pizza place. Are you kidding? Or an Italian restaurant. I guess it could be either. So this actually was designed by Owen Crossing. I think that's so fun. I want my friends to design my interiors. 
mostly because they're all so much better than me at doing it. <laughs> but this is so creative. Look at how this back wall, of course, has the ivy on it. So that's the accent wall. And the other walls technically, technically are the white brick. But as I pan back around, you will notice that where the actual kitchen is, we have a custom code. So that was, I'm guessing, achieved with the glow in the dark stickers because how cool. It gives the illusion of multiple accent walls, which is just uh, amazing. Owen Crossing, bravo. So, so well done. All right, let's go to the back room. I wonder, I wonder if this takes us to more of a mountainous view. I don't know. I'm gonna guess no, but maybe. <gasps> what? I was not expecting this. Okay, I'm not gonna break the illusion here because if I pan all the way around, it's gonna ruin it. But how pretty is this to look like you can come to this beautiful spa, look out the window, and the glowing moss balloon, it totally looks like it could be a moon, a full moon, and that is just, wildly creative and beautiful. Also, shout out to the tomato in the right hand corner. <laughs> wow, this is so pretty. Totally unexpected too. I did not anticipate a beautiful, beautiful spa being in this house, but man, is it one of the favorite ones I've ever seen. All right, and now let's go to the left. Gosh, is this just like a little cozy nook? Oh, this is where I can lay down. I love, love a good movie room. I love that we have some beverages. Looks like it could be a Bloody Mary, right? Oh, wow, this mood lighting is just amazing. It really is something special when you turn all the lights out you maybe set a certain color and it changes the whole dynamic of the room. Like if this had full fluorescent lighting, it would look not nearly as cool as the way Tari did it. This is so neat. Okay, let's check out the attic first. And this also was designed by one of Tari's friends. It's Isla Libra and I can't wait to see that. I think that whole concept is really cool and collaborative and oh my gosh. Um, hello, beautiful orange and blue room. Are you kidding? Whoa, and I have a feeling the prime real estate view is going to be right there. Whoa, this is so, so good. And why does this room feel gigantic? I guess because the partition walls really do break it up. I mean, what an awesome contribution of the paid DLC. The partition walls are amazing. I wish we could use them on the outside of our island. But this whole entire room, it feels huge. Wow, amazing job. And I'm a huge fan of the color combo, orange and blue. If you know, you know. Okay, let's go downstairs. See what's in the barn basement. Well, I guess this isn't a barn, it's a farmhouse, but you guys know. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't sit down. Man, that's the only feature that bugs me so much about the whole entire scooting element that they added. Is that you can't scoot and sit. Nintendo, we wanna scoot and sit. This is amazing. Another restaurant bar type of atmosphere. Oh, I just love it. Absolutely love it. The columns work so nicely with the counters. Everything is just so seamless. I wanna come here in real life. And I love how you have a little bit of a city view back there as well. So good. Also, um, do these rugs, they kind of remind me of like Ritz crackers. <laughs> Is that just me? 
And I say that because it is so incredibly fitting for a like farm to table, very food inspired type of island, but yeah, it reminds me of a Ritz cracker. All right, so let us keep exploring this right side. We did see the beach, so I am going to actually go through this amazing tomato farm. <gasps> Whoa, wait, hold on. Before we see this amazing wheat field, what is on the peninsula? I know I say peninsula weird. I think it's peninsula, peninsula, like penicillin. I don't know. I get comments all the time that I say it weird. But how fun is that? We got our little pigs, a little pig farm, a little pig. And this gyroid looks like a little pig. <laughs> I love it. This one's eating the flowers. How dare you? Actually, this could be meant to be a trough. You can continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this wheat field on the beach, oh my gosh, how pretty is it? It blends in so nicely with the sand too. <gasps> I can lay down? Oh yes. If this isn't pure relaxation, I don't know what is. Oh, and a beautiful area where you can paint. Paint the stunning beach view. <laughs> so beautiful. And more tomatoes. Also, if you had any doubt in your mind about this being a five-star island, I mean, come on. <laughs> but here's the lily of the valley for proof. And instead of going up that way, which I am very tempted to do, I know that there's a train station, so I'm gonna make my way that way. How cute is this little patio as well? What? Such a sweet little backyard for our character Pene. Oh my gosh. It is a pool of marinara sauce. Oh my God. <laughs> this is amazing. Bathe me in all of the tomato sauce. Let me swim. Oh, that's so good. On any other island, I'd be like, that's lava, but no, no, no. There is no mistaking. This is marinara sauce and it is a pool full of it. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I can't believe I missed that as I was walking right around this area, but how incredible. Okay, let's make our way back to resident services. Cute little red bike, ah, oh, love. Okay, because I was told by the brilliant island creator herself that there is a train station. I wonder if this is where it, it takes me. If I were a betting woman, I think, I think I would place a solid bet here. <gasps> yep, train tracks. <gasps> also this view, what, wait, what, what? Um, hello, amazing view. Uh, that is so fun. Mostly because everything is mismatched and yet it works so perfectly. I love it. I love all of the different colorways being combined that way. And here is the actual train. This is so good. So I guess you can sit like right here. All right, take me train. Take me to our next destination. Actually first, I do wanna see this view. Also, if you guys don't know, there is a little hack to get more of a camera view. If you go into first person mode, and then if you go up, then you exit and then go up. Oh, well, no, nope, I messed it up. Never mind. Kato has a video on it. <laughs> Follow console Kato. <laughs> anyway, wow, I should not be allowed to be a YouTuber. Now, where is, where is this pipe? Where is the pipe? There's a mark. Oh, it's literally right here. Okay. Train station. Take us somewhere. Amazing. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, there's another train. Oh, obviously, because that's how trains work, Katie. Hello. But it took us to Nook's Cranny and Abel's. Okay, so we are officially in the town part of this island. That is so cute. And of course, we have a little crosswalk right here. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where to go first. Okay, we'll go this way. We'll check out a couple of villager houses. Hello, you precious, precious little thing. So we have a full on neighborhood back here. Oh, here is that amazing view that we saw earlier. So fun. Double bridge moments will never ever fail, ever. And so this, we have a little town and a beautiful dining hall. I didn't know that had lights on it. Well, you learn something new every day. This is seriously phenomenal. Look at the simple panels behind the archway to make it look like a beautiful French door. Ugh, what? I swear, people's brains are too, too big for me <laughs> and for this game. <laughs> and then here is the back half of the neighborhood. Gosh, all of these codes are beautiful too. How cute. Flyers for the farmer's market that we saw earlier. I think, I mean, gosh, I change my mind all the time, so please do not quote me on this, but I think on my next island, <laughs> the one I just flattened, I want my neighborhood or the bulk of it to be in the back just like Tari has done. I think it just looks really clean and nice. Also, oh my gosh, more, more of a tomato factory? Hold on, how do we get over there? I have to see it. I know we were close, so if we go down this way, can we get over through here? I might have missed it. Okay, no, it's it's down a level. Okay, okay, hold on. We must explore. Take in all of the views before. I wonder, I wonder if I can, I might have to go back through the train. Okay, so before we go to the factory, let's explore this way because I do wanna see resident services and all that good stuff. And more amazing villager homes, of course, complete with like a little cookout area, the tomato flyers, which is just precious. <laughs> I love it. And how totally different does this area feel from the whole front half? And yet, it's, it's so seamlessly integrated with the theme. Here we are at Abel's love love the yellow colorway in the medieval walls <gasps> presents a football cheer megaphone and what are you some orange juice i love you know what feeling thirsty let's um let's whip this guy out <laughs> and here we are at nooks which i love the shopping elements here how absolutely perfect again for a farm to table type of island because you have this bag of groceries you have a shopping cart you have the baskets, you even have the truck that has delivered all of the goodies here. That is so fun and so amazing. Okay, well let's go let's go back through the train because I want to see that factory. That I think is the only area we have truly not explored and it looks way too good for me to just skip over. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything over here. Hello, Hazel. <laughs> this is amazing though. The concept of the train actually taking you from one place to another on your island is just, that's a big brain move, you guys, big brain move. And not to mention, like it is perfectly hidden by resident services too. You really would never know it was there unless you fully explored or, you know, Tari told me ahead of time, that's exactly how I could get there. And I love it. All right, back to the right side because I think it's the back right portion of the beach, which is how we're gonna get to that amazing factory and a couple other areas on this island. Through the beautiful tomato farm. Okay. Here 
Yeah, it, okay, I see it in the distance. Was there a bridge over here? Yeah, like not an in-game bridge, but this, we, yeah, we did not go back here intentionally because I did want to use the train tracks, but wow, okay. That is so pleasing to anyone who loves symmetry, A, <laughs> but B, it is really, really cool looking. Oh, you know what? Tari told me to turn my volume up, like my in-game volume up whenever I'm at the factory. So we're gonna do that, hold on. Okay, now let's go through. Wait, is this the museum? I'm just now realizing that. Oh my goodness, I'm trying not to talk so much so you guys can hear it. This is so smart. From the clanking noises of the gears the water sounds to really emulate the sound of soup being poured. <sighs> wow. And the fact that this is her museum. Again, I'm trying not to speak too much because I really do want to take in the in-game sounds. That's all I have to say about that. A giant bravo. And let me just say, I can say with absolute confidence. I'm about to say something big. This is the most creative museum design I've ever seen, period. And I've seen a bunch of islands at this point after doing this for like a year and a half almost. Um, I've seen a lot. Easily the most creative museum entrance. Like, it's a soup factory from all of the tomatoes that are grown on an island named Rotini. You guys, it's, it's, it's like bonkers brilliant. Look at this. <laughs> like, it's just so, so well made. Oh, here comes my dog. If you feel, <laughs> if you hear little pitter patters, that's what it is. Or big pitter patters. He's 110 pounds. Anyway, you guys, this was amazing. I had so much fun touring this island. I loved the collaborative element within Tari's home. I loved the theme. One of my favorite themes I have ever seen. And also it's totally unique. I've never seen anything quite like it. Best museum I've ever seen. I, I could go on and on and on. This is phenomenal. Make sure to go follow Tari. Again, I'm gonna put all of her information in the description box. Visit this dream address. Holy cow, it's so good. And with that said, you guys, I hope you're having an amazing day, whether it's nighttime, morning time, whatever time zone you're in. Happy time zone. I hope you guys are having a great one wherever you are. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.